Some of you may not think that what I did on this little banjo Lynn over the weekend is such a great thing. But if you'll stay tuned to this video, I'll show you what I did and why I did it and why I think it's a really good solution. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. Today is Monday, August 15th, and I'm going to continue working on this banjo Lin. I mentioned in the intro part of the video that I had done something on here I was really proud of. If you look at this, you'll see that that doesn't look normal, if you will. But this part up here kind of does look normal if you know what you're looking for. However, I had to make all this up here, too. Let me just back up at the truck and tell you that this neck is probably from the late 1800s. I'm, I'm just guessing that. It could be early 1900s, but I kind of think it's older than that. If you look at the perfect inlay on this, this old style inlay, that pretty much tells me it's pretty old. That inlay in the neck there, pretty old, I think. I don't know who did that inlay specifically, I wish I did know, and if you find out, let me know. But I would guess somebody like Vega or Regal or, you know, maybe even Gibson or Martin or somebody back, way back there. Washburn's even a possibility. But uh, anyway, this neck did not go with this banjo. It's, it's definitely, they're not a pair. But I'm making them a pair because the customer wants this to be a banjo Lynn. So this neck, First of all, it didn't line up with the hole here, and it shot on it shot on the head side of the hole. So in other words, if you put a screw through there, it wouldn't have hit this pin. Second of all, uh, it was about an inch short because this head is obviously bigger than this neck was. This neck obviously was for a banjo because it's got the eight holes. So what I, my solution was, well, since I can't line up this hole, and since it's too long, if I just make some sort of an adapter here, and my thought was, I'll just make an adapter and glue it on. Well, that's all well and good, but the problem is then you can't pull it back through the hole in this thing here if I glued it on. So if you see there, you know, it's, it's just attached with this pin. Now I made this pin. That's, I think that's the cool part of this is I made this pin and it works really good. You can just kind of like wiggle it and unscrew it. It's, you know, it's a little tight, but that's, you kind of want them tight. Uh, actually, it's not that tight. It's more tight because I've got this um, tightened up here. And because I tightened this up, that pushed this in tighter. But anyway, when, when this is all loosened up, you can just pull that pin right out, take the block out, take this off, and then pull the neck out like they're made to be. So I'm really proud of my little invention there. And that block is big enough then that it'll cover this hole and therefore I can get a screw in this hole. Now this is also where the tailpiece attaches, so I have to come up with something for all that. I don't have any of that. So I will have to be creative yet again and figure that out. and figure out a tailpiece and figure out a bridge then we're ready to string this thing up that's most everything i have for you today some of the rest of you are not going to want to watch the rest of this but i'm going to tell you anyway at 4 30 this morning i woke up with kidney pain yet again it was abrupt it woke me out of a sound sleep stabbing pain in my kidney and instantly I knew it was another kidney stone trying to pass. That probably makes at least a dozen that I've had. I'm probably more than that but I, I don't know. I never even had one kidney stone until about 10 or 12 years ago and since then and whenever they had to remove that one and that one was a severely bad case of kidney stone let me tell you. I had I was in the hospital overnight and they did surgery, remove it, and then I had to go back and they pulled out this balloon thing. And the whole thing was botched and I was in so much pain that I was actually suicidal. And I'm not exaggerating and I'm not saying that to be dramatic. They actually had me on suicide watch two weeks before they did the operation. It was horrible by that time. My kidney had swollen up several times over. They said it, they said too, it was one of the worst cases they'd ever seen. Well, anyway, make a long story short, since then I've had quite a few 
kidney stones and they told me that I did have other evidence of kidney stones so they figured I would have more trouble down the road. Several of those lasted many hours and passed on their own and then about the third or fourth one of those and uh, this is over several years you understand this wasn't like right in a row um, you know years would pass between each stone even was looking for relief because that's what you're doing when these things hurt like they do they hurt so bad so I did this little maneuver thing and instantly the stone passed well then it wasn't very long after that I had another one it was only a couple months later I had another one and I remembered that little maneuver I did I tried it again stone passed like that I've had probably eight or nine more since then that was several years ago you understand when when I figured this little maneuver out and every single one has passed since then well this this morning at 4 30 a.m it hit again and it hurt really bad so i went over tried my maneuver this one took a little bit longer usually it's about 15 seconds this one probably took 20 seconds maybe but it went away and i was glad it did so I'll put on the screen the video number to watch if you are suffering or if you know someone who is suffering from kidney stone pain, you may want to try this because I don't think the maneuver will hurt you any and it sure does get rid of the pain. I, I only wished I had known of this on the very first one that lasted two weeks. I might have gotten rid of it also. Like the, the time that I actually discovered this little maneuver, that pain had lasted about four hours, five hours, something like that. And I did this maneuver and bingo, like that, it just went away. So it works. It works for me for sure every time. And I've heard from a few people already that have tried it and they said it works for them. So that's all I can tell you. I'll put it on the screen. Hopefully it'll work for you. Whether that happens or not, stay tuned for more information on this and we'll show you the progress on a daily basis. Thanks for watching.